What's going on guys? Merrick here back with another Halo Flight video. Sadly, we do not have more infinite footage for you as of yet. It's supposed to be coming soon, but we got some Season 8 Master Chief Collection stuff going on here. We're going to go ahead and take a look. It took me forever to get all my armor customized back the way I want it. But we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the, uh, the new armor uh, permutations, whatever they're officially referred to as uh, throughout the games. Now, as far as Halo Combat Evolved, they didn't really add anything, except they added poses now, which is kind of uh, kind of odd. It seems out of place for Halo 1. Kind of like Halo 4 we had. Halo 5 has poses. Halo 4 had, like, the the cards and whatever, but... So we got a few different... Yeah, a few different poses here. We've got at ease, which is just kind of at ease. We've got crossed arms casually aloof we got aim high which is winning with style it says uh not really a fan of this one uh drill instructor the perfect pose for overseeing new recruits we got kneel review and reflect on the oncoming battles on the coming battles i don't i don't really like a lot of these i feel like they're not as inspired as the halo 4 ones i can't believe i'm saying that but uh we got alpha horizon kind of back towards us we got a little meditate we got peace which uh, looks like he's more like hold the fuck up we got salute steel tree I don't really know what the hell the point in this is is this like a yoga pose I don't I don't fucking know we got casual tactical which this just looks like some unneeded sass this looks like something I, I can't be seen using we got look ahead, which is basically face backwards facing again, just with the rifle up. We got after action, take a breath, prepare for the next mission. Uh, I don't really like the way he's holding his arms out. It seems a little uh, abnormal to me. We got Zeta Horizon, which is the same thing, holding the rifle facing backwards, but looking the other way. We got Rise which is kind of like this kneeling, like, get-the-fuck-up position. That one's all right. We got Take a Knee. This one's pretty cool. I do like this one, just because of the the position he's holding the rifle in looks all right. Uh, we got Shoulder Arms, which this one's cool, but again, it looks unnatural with, with the Halo 1's kind of... Like, you can see the rifle is clearly clipping through the shoulder, and it just doesn't look natural, the angle he's holding it at. We've got On Patrol, which looks pretty solid, although the angle he's kind of holding his hand, it literally looks like his wrist is broken. Like, I can't, I'm physically sitting here trying to to bend my, my wrist down that far, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't go that far. Uh, we've got Rifle Salute, which is the same thing as the Salute, just holding the rifle, and again, you see half the Assault Rifle clipping through his arm. Uh, don't mind the baby running through the house, terrorizing everything. Now we get this one, Stand Down. This just looks... This one looks bad to me. This one is on on par with, like, the weird yoga pose and then the, the sassy, like, hips pose. This is just a really... I don't know. This looks more like he fell on his ass than, like, taking a breather. Um, so I'm, I'm not really a fan of that one. Uh, so Arms Cross is the one I'm kind of going with. It just seemed the the best option out of all of them in my personal opinion uh so then we're gonna go into halo reach so halo reach has some some new stuff they've got some new helmet variants um to this game so we've got uh bellows variants that oh jesus christ they have a lot so this one <laughs> While this doesn't exactly feel Halo, this does feel really Assassin's Creed. And I gotta say, I don't like it for Halo. I won't use it, but I do like this aesthetic. This is, this is really cool looking, it just doesn't feel very Halo-y. This one just feels like a weird pot of greed. It's called Cerberus, but Cerberus is usually a three-headed dog. This just looks like pot of greed with its various faces. Uh, there's Karata, which this one's kind of like the first one, but it's got the weird goat horns on it. We got Leon Tokardos. Actually, let's go ahead and read the descriptions for these. 
So bellows, straight and true. The Chosen are honed and sharpened into a weapon thrust straight into the heart of Lacedaemon's enemies. Cerberus is the Chosen who guard the Chthonic slip gates and initiated into their mysteries have no moral ties, no binding vows, and no doubts. Kurtaro says, Goring horns are worn by Chosen who abandon reason and the assistance of others. The Leon Cotardus of Rare few chosen live, in, live long enough to become transfigured. Their bodies recast into forms more suitable for eternal war. Who are the chosen? What are the chosen? Is that a... Wait. Was that the... Was that the, what they called the created? Is that what Cortana's, like, created army was... I don't remember. Then we have... Steno... Chosen who succumb to bitterness are blessed and cursed to never walk a path of peace. So this is like a weird Medusa helmet with, again, that creepy ass looking face, the big ass nose. And then we have Transverse, which is kind of like the first one, except uh, they put the he put the broom end on sideways, so it just kind of looks funny. Chosen generals of Lesed Lesedaemon's mortal armies bear distinctive crests. We have Blackguard variant, so we've got Blackguard, Bitterness and Pride alloyed into Frozen Iron. we got Tearful Bishop. Now this one kind of looks cool, but it just looks like a bucket on his head. The faith of the newly converted burns bright enough to cons consume any truth. Now this one doesn't look half bad. Forsaken Dragon. This one I actually kind of do like. It reminds me of the Hayabusa, um, except not as cool as the Hayabusa, but this one does look cool. I, I gotta admit, I do. This is the first one I've seen that I'm actually like, ooh, this is kind of nice. I do like this one a little more than the the Trojan soldier-looking one. Uh, there is no fall from grace, only an awakening to reality. Carrion winds. Okay, this one's just kind of like the creepy witch doctor from the like plague era. Some are born to taste ill winds. Uh, Sorrowful visage. This is basically Skeletor. Fear can be honed to a sharpness keener than any blade. Yeah, I, I gotta work with my Skeletor impression if I'm gonna do that. We got Ashen Crown, which is basically a Skeletor, but without the hood, and he's got a crown instead. It is better to rule in the shadows than serve in the light. Oh, okay. Uh, we got Drenger variants. Drenger is the shapeless horror strike at the mind, just as viciously as they do the body. Interesting. And then we've got, oh, Devalin, which is Drenger, but with giant deer horns. The great beasts who browse among the limbs of the world tree inspire art and song. Who are they referring to with this shit? At least with the Halo helmets, like the Halo armor, it makes sense because it sounds like in-world, in like in-universe stuff. But I have no idea what any of this is referring to. Then there's Nari. This one could be cool if it weren't for the giant Loki horns. I mean, I understand that might be what they're going for. Some tricks and jests are worth any price. Like, that's... It, it could work, but the, again, the giant horns just... They don't fit well. Okay, so this is basically the same Thyra. This is the same helmet, but instead of the horns, it's got the bigger wings. This one I like better. It is the highest of honors for a lore spinner to spark hope in the darkest of nights. Who is a lore spinner? What in the fuck is a lore spinner? Then we have Tyre, which is just... The, the helmet... The same helmet, but with a mask and giant bull horns. Loss and sorrow are fuel for the teller of tales. And Valdemar. Which is... Uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, Sicey's teen from Star Wars, except with a helmet on. War demands sacrifice of treasure and blood. The trick is to make sure that it's not yours. Okie dokie. Uh, so that's all the helmets. Now, I don't believe, if I remember correctly, uh, Halo Reach does not have the armor. But Halo 3 does. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the new, um, the new helmets in 3. So we got Bellows. Um, again, this one looks cool. Like, I don't dislike this one, but it just doesn't fit Halo in my opinion. Uh, Cerberus, still kind of creepy. Um, 
So, I mean, see, this one just looks... It looks like it's supposed to be the same one, but, like, with pigtails. And I, I just don't like that. Like, this one, it just it doesn't fit. This one looks decent, but then the aesthetic looks too rough and scuffed up to match Halo 3's aesthetic. So, the Forsaken Dragon honestly just looks better as a Reach helmet, unfortunately. Uh, Skeletor... Just, again, like, okay, first of all, the hood with armor just looks stupid. I'm sorry. Like, I like it better than the crown because this just looks like death, but I don't. And then the deer horns, like, I don't understand. That wouldn't, how is that? You're going to get, like, a horn stuck on, like, a, a ceiling or something going around a corner, and then you're just, you're just bait. The Loki helmets are okay, but. Again, it just seems really, it just seems out of place. So, now we're getting into the chest armor. This is Bellows. Um, doesn't look as out of place. This one's got the little lion on it. So, this one's kind of neat, but... Um, Blackguard. Oh, they have different, uh, they have different, uh... Description. So this one says, Hoplite armor is crafted only to achieve victory at any cost. Is a chosen who where it becomes something other than human. Lachagos. Chosen commanders are dispassionate, logical, and feared by their mortal troops. Blackguard plate is worn by fallen lords and outcast knights who nurse ancient grudges in the tattered edges of civilization. This one's just kind of like spiky and sharp. I do like the raised, uh, like, collar pieces, though. That looks cool. Margrave is the same thing, but with giant, like, bones on it. Renegade princelings and once-blessed lords of tribute in Venezia are powerful, if unpredictable, allies against the Covenant hordes. And this almost sounds like these are not, like, for Spartans. Almost like it's another species that humanity... <laughs> has helping them against the Covenant. Denger. Scalds? Scalds? Who war against the shapeless horrors are given Denger rune plate, which hardens their minds and sharpens their tongues. This is the shapeless horrors. Is that the flood? This one's... This one's kind of neat. It's... It's... It's more basic. It's not as outlandish. So that one's alright. Okay, see, it was alright before we added, like, the... Now, the extra, like, little silver on the front there is cool. But why the fuck did we need the fur coat collar on it? The fiercest scalds are favorite companions of doomed warriors and oath-marked kings. And that's all there is for that. I don't know if we got any new shoulders. We did get new shoulders, too. Okay. The determined shoulder plate. Each strap has a tail to tell. That looks... Eh. Then we got the Glorious Pauldron, a symbol of ancient glory. Lion Guard Mantle, a symbol of ancient glory reborn. That one's cool, but again, it's just weird for Halo. Valorous Spalders, blessed by the Seers to turn a single fateful blow. Knight of Ver Verant. Now this just looks like some weird, like, Dragonborn shit. Renowned as pirates and smugglers, the Black Guard of Varent cast greedy eyes on the land below their Skyborn castle. Knight of Venezia. Now this one's cool. Not Halo-ish at all, but kind of like cool feather. As acquisitive and greedy as any jackal, the merchant thieves of Venezia prowl the outskirts of war looking for vulnerable and unwary. So again, this seems like it's almost like it's for a different species. Now, none of this is supposed to be canon. It's supposed to just kind of be like, haha, it's for fun. From what I've read, but... Eh. Knight of Valeria. The necrotex and corpse grinders of Valeria labor over moldy tomes and strange ichors to uncover secrets best left buried. See, that's just weird and not even practical in the slightest. Now, this one's cool looking. I mean, it's a skull. It's like a skull castle plate, which is pretty dope. But, again, the Fallen Wardens of Magical are siege masters and alchemists of peerless skill and unfathomable cruelty. 
Oathbound. So this one looks this one looks good. This one could be Halo-ish. A promise made under the world tree cannot be broken, even in death. Okay. Now this just looks ouch. Spirebound. Not every poet can be their own master. Uh, it looks more offensive than defensive, though. Oh, this one's cool. This is like a wolf. Fangbound. Passion unleashed in its own special terror. Now that's pretty cool. I like that one. It's a little too sharp, but... Now, see, I don't like this one. Scalebound. The dragons trade their stories for memories. That doesn't look like a dragon. It looks like a weird, like, goat. Alright, so we got some shoulders. We got chests. Did we get new arms? We did. So we got Warriors Vambrace. There is no finer armor in all the city-states. Uh, the shoulder looks too big. Kind of, or the arm, the forearm looks too big. It kind of clips into the shoulder. You got little spikes on the the hand plate there. You got glorious Vambrace, the finest panop panoply for Lacedaemon's fiercest warriors. Bane marked. See, all of these clip too much, and I don't like that. Renegades have access to arts and armor banned in the Enlightened Solarian Core. Sorrow marked. The scales must always be balanced. Truth Teller Spines. Alright, this looks like some... Well, again, more Dragonborn shit. The Scald's Spines are either worm teeth or bones of defeated shapeless horrors, depending on the storyteller. So, between Dragon and Flood. Interesting. And then we got Accuser Right, which just adds the fur coat shit. No law can bind a Scald's words, and no curse can stay their tongue. So that's all for the arm pieces. Uh, oh, the legs get really out there. Warrior's Griefs. The Chosen Stride, the land is demigods, and their judgment is absolute. Glorious Stride. The Chosen are relentless in war, marching for days before needing rest. Tribute Keep. This is kind of cool, except for the weird toe thing at the end. The Outer Kingdoms are no place for the weak or hopeful. Oh, this just adds a bunch of shit. Far Isle Keep. The thrice damned armorers who dwell in the haunted ruins of Far Isle serve any who pay their tilth of adamantium and bone. What in the hell is that talking about? See, this is just spiky shit again. Far Strider. A good story can only travel as fast as the tale teller. Traveler's Tale. Again, what is with the freaking fur coat shit? Now this is just boots with the fur, and I ain't about no fucking... I ain't about that shit playing while I'm trying to play Halo. Even the attire of a scald tells a story. Okay. Alright, so back accessories. So unfortunately I've seen some of this stuff, and it's pretty freaking cool. So first we've got... Valix Lament. Ambition is your shield. Now, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot better than the other one. Well, I mean, I, I do, but I don't. Like, I like how this has got the shape of the the shield that we know and love from the Halo difficulty emblems, but I like how this one, like, has the glowing eyes, and it's got the whole... Like, uh, this one just looks cool. I like this. We've got Iron Burst. This mace has shattered the bones of countless heroes and villains, although it's really tiny. Like, I feel like a Spartan would break this in one swing. There's Last Word. Settling arguments one swing at a time. This is like Thor's hammer, except with an elite skull on it. we got a giant battle axe. Laws and deeds will always trump words. Lionheart Shield. This one's pretty... eh. I guess it's supposed to... I don't know if it's supposed to be blood on the back or it's just scuffed up. It looks pretty bland. Uh, the Guardian of Lacedaemon either return carrying their shields or reposed upon them. We got Oak Limb, which is basically a shield with arrows stabbed in it. One cannot throw a cruel bar without expecting some in return. Raven Oak. Inspiration can be found in the strangest places. That one's just even more bland. We got Reaver's Tooth, which is basically a new axe. It's got the Halo logo on it, like the OGO. That's cool. A tool of war and peace. Seafoam Trident. Now this looks pretty dope. It, it's kind of like you can't see it too well. The arms of the Sea Lords are now prized heirlooms. Now this is a really cool one. I do like this. It does seem like it fits a little bit better. 
but still kind of out there because it's a trident. Now, Sorrow Morn. This looks badass as hell. I could see myself using this one over the katana, just because this looks like this could be a sword from, like, Devil May Cry. Its blade is a, is a thorn of malice. This one I could actually see myself using. Tegetis Dory. A symbol of martial prowess. This is like a, a giant, like, double-sided spear. Kind of reminds me of the, the Lunar Staff from Ninja Gaiden. And then Thessalian Bow. A bow fit for the greatest of archers. So you could literally just have a bow and arrow on your back. In, you know, a game where you have guns. But, I mean, it could be cool. I don't know. I kind of like this sword, actually. Do I like it better than the katana? I mean, the katana is bigger and longer. I guess the katana would be more like Yamato. But, I mean, Sorrowful is kind of cool. Again, it still has that clipping issue, though. Everything seems to clip. <clears throat> really badly. I hope that's something that they fix. But I gotta, I gotta rock the regular katana just because... Just because it's cool shit. Um, now we've got the poses here as well. Um, I believe they're all the same. I don't think there's any different poses. Well, look ahead is a bit different. It's You turn to the side instead of all the way around. Um, now, shoulder arms, I feel like they did this one a little bit better. But now, now the gun is just resting on nothing, so it still looks unnatural. The angle is, is more, seems more comfortable, but you're not really leaning it on anything. Again, on patrol looks pretty good. Um, this one actually looks a lot better than it does in the Halo 1 uh, aesthetic, just because well, your wrist is not broken and just kind of dangling from your arm meat. Uh, we got Rifle Salute. This one looks better, too. It doesn't look like the weapon clips through through the shoulder as much. And then Stand Down again. This one just looks silly, like you just fell on your ass. And you're just like, well, shit. I don't feel like getting up. So, I mean, yeah. I feel like... And I feel like with this look, too, the crossed arms just look so much better. Especially with the Hayabusa. But, I mean... Whether or not I'll keep the Hayabusa is another story, but I, I've kept it for right now for uh, reasons. And I believe that is it. Uh, I don't remember if we've gotten any custom... any. I don't remember if we've gotten any new skins. I think we've gotten, like, Vexing Tomorrow is a new skin. Uh, Scorned Fate might be a new skin. Uh, it looks like that's pretty much it as far as skins go. And I'm not really, like, Scorned Fate just, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. It just looks like a very bad, like, spray paint job. Vexing Tomorrow has its, like, it's, it's okay. It's not terrible, but especially when you've got shit like, oh, I don't know, well, Golden or... You know, do the great journey. Uh, they seem severely lacking to me. And some weapons didn't even get the new skins. So, personally, I don't particularly care about the new skins. Uh, they also gave you the option to choose, you know, male or female voice. You can choose, um, well, you can't do it in here, but I believe it's Halo Reach. Um,. You can, you can choose, they refer to it as heavy armor and light armor now, so it's no longer male or female Spartan. I think that was completely unnecessary to, to add, like, it's, but, I'm not getting into that because it's just not, it, it, it doesn't matter. It, it literally was just kind of an addition they added that just didn't. Didn't make enough sense and didn't matter. It, it does nothing for the overall aesthetic of Halo, at least in my personal opinion. But, alright, and that's all the new Halo armors that they're adding. Um, 
we can't look at the tier list to see where that stuff will be on that list. Um, but there are some cool... There, there are some cool designs. Uh, like I said, I'm not a super... I'm not super big on some of them. But uh, the ones I did like, Bellows, I do like that one. Uh, I do like... Tearful Bishop's okay, but again, I, I love the way the visor looks. But it, it just it just looks like a barrel on your head. Uh, Forsaken Dragon looks really cool. just doesn't seem to match up with the Halo 3 aesthetic. Um, the, the Loki one, Nari, and then Thyra, these are okay. Um, the horns. Actually, it, it's funny because, you know, everybody says that this reminds them of Loki, but... To me, this this just looks like a Marker Ragnos helmet. Uh, I'm not actually sure how many people thought of that, but but yeah, that's it for all the new cosmetic aesthetics that'll be in season eight of the Master Chief Collection. Uh, you can't see it here, but I've already got over a hundred hundred points saved up. So you know, if I decide to use any of this new stuff, then I can just go and unlock all of it right away. So. Uh, that stuff will only be available in Reach for the helmets and then the helmets as well as all the different armor pieces in Halo 3. So still no love for Halo 2, which is apparently hard to do. Uh, same thing with Halo 1. I don't honestly know that I would want extra armor in either of those, not to make the video any longer, but just because it's it's so classic. Uh, I would like the option to have like weapon skins and stuff like that. Maybe putting some of the Halo 3 armor in Halo 1 and 2, but besides that, those games should just not be touched and we should not get an extra armor in them. I would love extra stuff for Halo 2, but all this stuff just does not need to uh, go any further back than Halo 3 in my opinion but with that we're gonna go ahead and get the frig out of here and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video